what is up guys this is JFK Aviation 24th year coming at you with a brand new video this is the unboxing you all been waiting for I know this one is also late these are two late orders they're supposed to come earlier but due to some issues um the guy I had to uh, the guy I ordered from is from like, like I said before the other order on Christmas that one was a uh, uh, Jetway models purchase or top flight models whatever you want to call it Whenever you get it in the packaging, it says top flight models on the label. You know what I mean? Like, on top, it obviously I tore off the label, the shipping label, but you get the top flight models. It's, it says top flight models instead of um, jetway models. But, yeah, I got it from the same guy. Um, it was just something wrong. He forgot about the order. He forgot to ship it. But we're going to get this in the boxing. Got our handy dandy yellow um, box cutter. As usual in every video, probably an icon for all the unboxings. There it is. All right, awesome. Stain. Well, oh, doesn't look very good now, but still works like a charm. Need a new blade for it though. So on top, you could kind of see a box in there. They got a lot of newspaper, and this one fell out. Mm. Oh no, you could see past the screen, but uh. There's the first one. You got a American A321. Second one in there. You could see the uh, American triple seven. I mean, not triple seven. Seven six seven. Okay. I'm just gonna hold on. And then last thing in there is just paper. Yeah. All right, guys. So I'm gonna take this out of the stand hole now. Just gonna gently put this to the ground. All right. So as you see, we got the classic Gemini Jets box. Uh, I'm not gonna do it for the same. I'm just gonna do it for one, so you know what it is. Because you know. All Gemini yeah. Jets box are the same. So you got Gemini Jets titles in the corner, top right, the top left corner, made by the collectors. I mean, made for collectors by collectors. Almost messed that up. I uh, got the Boeing triple seven six seven three hundred ER American Airlines saddle, one to four hundred scale diecast model aircraft. Uh, you want to continue the rest? Oh yes. Well, they just okay. And then you also have the computer generated image of the aircraft. And then also on here it says one to four hundred scale diecast model, highly collectible, superior quality, realistic metal landing gear, detailed printed graphics as realistic as features. And uh, yeah, you got this side. Uh, it says he has the aircraft again. As you can see, uh, also the item number. Yeah, it has the item number. But you can see there's a slight dement. You probably saw it from this side. There's the dement. It's just what happens, you know, with shipping. Not all the time the boxes come in good shape. This one's just a slight dement. It's all right though. But you got the, sh the item number, which is uh, G J A A L sixteen eighty. And then yeah. The back. And then in the back, it's just the warnings and the barcode. Can that I the read bar it? Yeah, you can read the warning. Adult collectible model. Warning, contains small pieces not suitable for children under 14 years of age. I'm mm. a, I'm a, I'm a yeah. responsible child. Yeah, no, my brother's young, but who cares. But, uh, you can see this is a 2017 release, last year, so last year, whatever. Guys, come come at me with all the last year jokes. But, uh, so lost you got the plane climbing, some information, you could pause and read it if I can get this glare to stop. Ish. Well, you could kind of read it there, so pause and read if you want. All right, so yeah, that's that one. Hold on, I'm gonna pause my video. Pause it for a second. All right, guys, I just had to quickly wipe off the lens because it was a little glary. Really? Yeah, so I'm just gonna put this guy back here and bring up the A320. So this is our first American Airbus A320. With the type, this, that type of engine design. Yeah, with this type of engine. It's our first A320 with this type of engine. And our first A320 American Airlines. Uh, so you got the same as the uh, 767 box. But this is a darker red, as you can see. 
you see on the 767 box this lighter red and then um on the american uh, 8320 box it's a uh, darker red like a kind of uh burgundy color. and then there's also on like this flap there's like a like a printing oh yeah when we first saw it because we did open it a little bit before video but you can see it's kind of messed up so look like paint drops yeah, that would looks... try to be wiped off does look like paint drops. This model is not used or anything. This is brand new. And I don't know if the guy had this sitting in his house or something and something happened. But there's the model on the inside. And there's the uh, 763ER on the inside. So my brother going to open up the 820 for us. And he's also going to open up the 767. But we're going to take a look at the E320 first. So we're just going to have the 767 in the back. Just open it up. Also, guys, okay. Here's the model. Alright, guys, so you can see the E320 out. And it looks like it already has a good tilt problem on certain points. Yeah, they always have it. That's the problem with the E320. Hold on a second. Oh, I guess that's just only E320. Yeah, there's a white mark on all the A320s. Alright, so he's going to unbox the uh, 7.6 yeah. while we take a look with this this time because I know I have it here and I keep on forgetting to use it. So, we got the model right here. Uh, it looks like there's a little bit of a mess up down there. We've got a chip of... I think, wait, hold on, let me take a closer look. Yeah, there actually is a chip. There's a chip on the bottom landing gear there, but it's fine. But uh, you got the nose cone. You got the uh, I think this is a fuel point. Not sure. You got the cockpit windows. Oh, wait, oh. that's that's the thing that they connect to, like the um. Oh, the electric. That's, that, that's the electrical system that they cook up with the um. Piston. All right. So that's what that is, my brother. Knows a lot about aviation. I do too, but I don't know as much. In I know some information, so not as much. <laughs> yeah, that's why we have this channel together. If one of us forget one of the little details on the aircraft, we have each other. All right, guys. So, uh, yeah, you got the L1 boarding door, American Airlines titles. Uh, you got the One World logo right there. Fuel um, thing here. Where the, the fuel. Wait, well, no, that's uh, the other tube. We think, and we got the some pitot tubes going along here. If this plane would stop spinning around and tilting all over the place, but you got the engines here, and I think these engines are. Uh, no, no, you got the wrong box. Nope, wrong box. Oopsie daisy. Use that box. All right, so the engines for this aircraft are these are CFMI. FCM 56-5B 4-P engines and there's two of them it's a double times the thrust so yeah and then you got the uh, over wing exits and I like this model a lot so far you can see the shininess you could, can't really see it so well but it is very shiny on the top of the wings it's wait, very... wait, wait, like, like, move, wait, move the aircraft yeah. If you see, yeah, uh, you can see it now better. See the shine right there. That looks so good. You have, I think this is going to be my favorite model of 2018 so far. Compared to the uh, uh, Air X 777 10X custom made. I still love that one for its foldable wings. As we make our way to the back, you got the L2 boarding door. And then you got the registration, which is November 11, 7. Uh, wait, what is you? Oh wait, um, okay, so you have November 1, 7, um, Union? Union? Wait a minute, no, wait. Was it Utah? Yeah. Alright guys, so, I think it's Union. We think Unicorn. it's Union. Think Unicorn it's or Union. But you guys can let us know in the comment section down below for the A320 registration. So, um, and I know the W is Whiskey, so, yeah. So it's basically N eleven seven W U W. Then you got the beautiful American Airlines tail. Got the APU in the back. If this plane would just stop, 
which it will never, because it has a tail weight problem. Like our A320 Jet Blue blueberries. blueberries, it has. It's, a, it's weird though, because the the high rise doesn't have a tail weight problem. Yeah, so it's the same thing on the other side as the other aircraft. I mean, ah, not the other aircraft, the other side of this uh, the port, port side. side. I see a little detail, if the camera can pick it up. You got the door, it's very silver, you could kind of see it. Very slender. It's very silver actually. It's more silver than the um, American uh, 789. I think it might be more silver than the 76, but you could see it there from the bottom better. You could see the little detail indicating. This is a little thing that looks like a college essay. A college essay. <laughs> This is writing right there that looks kind of like a college essay just written on the side of the aircraft. True. But uh, this A320 seems to have a lot of chips on it. Whoa, this is the 76. So huge. Yeah, there seems to be a lot of chips on it. Hey, what? So this model, I like it a lot. Besides the chips in the front landing gear, but that's no biggie. But it does have a lot of antennas, though. This one. I think this one has... I think it has less antennas than our uh, A320 Jet Blues. No, I think no, it has like no, it has more than it. Cause, cause oh yeah, they don't have one on the bottom. Yeah. So this guy has more antennas, but that's that model. Now on to the uh, 763 ER. All right, guys. So now on to the bigger model. We got the uh, American 763 One World. This Finally. Is second One World. Yeah, second One World member American Airlines aircraft. So as you can see, you got the large One World logo here. My brother thought there was a mess up there, but that's actually the uh, indicating something for the door emergency use. I never even knew that. But you got the nose cone. It looks a lot like the 777. But if you didn't know, the uh, 777 is actually, it was supposed to be the uh, successor of the 767. It was going to be called the 767X program, but it got designated as its own aircraft. So its own line. His own family so yeah so you got the big one world member logo here antenna on top and you got the red light nav light on top i didn't say that on the a320 but it does have one too you got the american airlines hey, titles wait what nav light i mean not strobe the beacon beacon red beacon light i keep saying nav when it's not and then you got the landing lights here on the wing also this one has a little bit of chromish that's actually really nice i like that I don't really like it when they're like the same color on the wings, but I still love the American Airlines new colors. It looks very nice. I like the chrome one as well. I want to get another one, but uh, we would have to get it in the 737 because they don't really have a lot of these they guys only have left. They have it in the 767. I mean, they only have one in the 737 now. Yeah, so we're going to get the 730. If you guys were wondering if we're going to get the 737 American in chrome, we like eight, the 800, we are going to get the one in chrome, so don't worry about it, guys. We're going to get it, which we can find a way to get our hands on it. But you got the nice wings here, and I got to change the wings on the uh, custom United 7.6. Now that I see these wings are a lot bigger, and they are very nice looking. I love yeah, they, they these look wings. They look very slender. Yeah, look at how slender these look. They look so nice. And then it's a silhouette. Really nice. But you can see that. And then you got the red nav light here with the flasher, the uh, strobe lights on the end of the wing light there. And then these engines on this aircraft are... Can you want me to read it? Yeah, you okay. read the engines. Mm -hmm. um, okay, they're two general electric CF6-80C2B6 engines. And I think these are the same used on the uh, 747 that you can see behind. There, the 747-400. I think they're the same. Okay. Now, nah, don't worry about it. Okay. But, as we make our way down, I forgot. You got the L1 boarding door there. Overwing exits with the overwing markings. Yes. As seen on the A320. Wi-Fi hub on top. The A320 didn't have this. Because the American Airlines A320s don't have them. Yeah, and then you got the antenna. And as we make our way to the back, you got the L2 board ignore, also another... Um, that's the... That's actually the hinge, that's what's on the front here, it's the thing to open it from the outside. Oh, that's like the, like, the lock. So, like, if, like, um, 
Say if this plane is down on the ground and it's on fire, engulfed in fire, and a bowl of fire, and everybody's about to die. Which happened to one. Yeah, these locks are on the outside, so firefighters can open them, I think, is what they're used for. Not really sure, but probably something having to do emergency-wise. But, uh, I'm not going to speak too much into it before I embarrass myself, but... Before I get the wrong information out, actually. But, uh, you can see the registration is actually a little messed up on this side, but you got the American flag as it's on the A320. And then, and then you got November 343, Alpha November. This is the registration for this aircraft. A Very pretty. You got the APU in the back. This one actually has a little hole they have improved. Uh, you can't really see it really well on the other 763 that we have, the United. Because that one was an old one. That one was an old one. That was originally a Qantas uh, 7673ER. It was still a th yeah, ER, but it didn't have winglets. And then went through like 410. And then went through TEM. And then... Yeah, but that one didn't have a hole in the back like this one does. So that's an improvement on 763. Also, you could see the kind of. Uh, when I lifted it up, you could kind of see there's a little bit of a tail thingy there to prevent the. That's the tail striker. The tail striker at the back. And you got the elevators, very nice. Um, one thing about this model, uh, a little mess up, one of the landing gears, the one right in front of you, is the one that is slightly bent upwards. So when you put it on the ground, you can kind of see it's not really touching the ground. But yeah, it's fine. And then you got the uh, other winglet and the uh, cream snap light right there. So now we can do more flights with uh, airport. Yep, so this guy's available for routes if you have him or if you have a 763ER. I'll do routes with you. We'll do routes with you. Yeah, can I tell them the routes that it, that, that it does from here? Yeah, so, so he's going to mention all the routes that the 763ER does from John F. Kennedy. So it does flights from Miami and um, Madrid and Barcelona, um, Rome, or sometimes London Heathrow if the 777 is uh, having issues, which is sometimes. And then you also have flights out to, um, where is it again? Um, Was it Phoenix? Or like yeah, it's Phoenix. And LAX, I think. Yeah. Alright, guys, so that's the flight the routes for those. If you have any of those airports, you could comment down below and you could choose a route with us. And for the A320, I think it was only Charlotte, right? Yeah, Charlotte, and then because like, it like, mostly operates for like the 737 flights, if the 737 that's supposed to do the route is on under maintenance, so yeah. But other than that, he's mainly here at JFK doing Charlotte flights. Yep, so Charlotte and uh, 737 routes. So yeah, you could, uh, and also, if you just have the plane in general, I'll accept the routes as well. Um, we do have the other, like, custom airlines, you could use them for any aircraft. Any airline you want that operates from JFK that has those aircraft, you could use, um, those for it. Alright guys, so that concludes for this video. Hope you enjoyed. And we'll see you guys again next time. Bye-bye.